Hi, this is Alcan, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you uh, follow, subscribe, share, and so on. Ah, uh, yes. Well, Kathy Hogo man, won the battle and became the first elected female governor in the state of New York. But she probably did it at the expense uh, of herself because, unfortunately, all the congressional seats in Long Island some of them that were Democrat all went Republican. So, there's going to be a major problem for her. I don't know what to tell you. So they're saying, oh, Eric Adams going to cost the election. I don't think it was Eric Adams that did that. It's the fact that... Um, she seemed to ignore the problem of the crime, not just New York City, but her whole state. And the fact that the uh, so-called friendly uh, anchors at the uh, station where she thought she was going to get softball questions, uh, let her have it. And also, it didn't help the fact that Lee Zellman's hotels was, was a result of the... Uh, the losses of those seats. So that means uh, any project for New York may have problems in the future because no matter what Chuck Schumer does, he doesn't have uh, the congressional people in the House from New York to help. We all know why that's going to happen. Anyway, well, it also didn't help that Lee Zeldin's family only became victim of crime at their own home. So that's the thing. By the way, it turns out some of the information he was using about how crime is going down New York is basically she just cherry picked what she wanted information wise. If you actually look for the information, you will see that in fact the crime has not really gone down that much. Nor did the crime happening now was better than the 80s. No, it's not. Far from it. In the 80s, it was unheard of that passengers being pushed onto the subway track, whether there was a train or not. And other issues. So... Well, congratulations on your win, but um, you're going to have less power in Washington in January. Southcat St. Saul for now, and don't forget to stop.